Hi, folks, Max from RootGalaxyNode.com for this week's ROM of the week for the GTN 7000. Um, do check out SOKP ROM. Uh, I know C ROM, I really like it, um, but one of the things with C ROM is that there's no custom kernels, uh, hence, no overclocking. And I feel like you know you definitely need overclocking for this phone. Um, you can install the Forest uh, CM11 kernel uh, for this phone, and uh, you'll get overclocking out of the box uh, to 1.6 gigahertz. And also, um, I do recommend using Trickster Mod App uh, to control your CPU if you want. Go to General here. Um, it's overclocked out of uh, if you do install the kernel by default, but you can go ahead and underclock it um, if you feel like you know you need better battery life you can get it back to the stock 1.4 gigahertz hit the button there um, hit the button there and make sure hit kernel settings this will allow you to keep those settings when your phone reboots uh, but I do like it at 1.6 it does make it just zippy enough um, you know it, it makes it a lot zippier actually um, so I really like it a uh, very nice ROM and let me go ahead and show you some of the customizations um, you can do uh, with this ROM. Uh, you'll find all of it in SOKP control here. Um, some audio stuff here. I don't actually pff, like it that much. Um, I actually recommend Viper for audio over all of these audio apps. Up status bar, you can go ahead and customize um, your battery icon here. And for those of you who know how to customize your phone, you can go ahead and skip all of this and just go ahead and try the ROM uh, along with the kernel. And uh, let me go ahead and change this. Go ahead and change the battery color. Um, let's go into clock and date. I like to put the clock in the center. Um, also, uh, AM, PM if you want to. And also the date also. I really like the date stuff. Also, you can go ahead and change the colors on this also if you want to. Um, brightness control, show notification count, double tap to sleep. So brightness control, go ahead and slide along the top of your phone. Um, double tap to sleep. And here's the lock screen. And also it will show you notification count such as if you're using Gmail, um, Twitter, Facebook. It will show you how much tweets you have, Facebook updates you have. Um, also you can do network speeds here which will show you um, how much data you're using. Um, let's go ahead and go see quick settings panel. This is where you can customize uh, your uh, quick settings, which is all of this here. Now you can make it um, so you can use one finger. Um, so if you go to the right, you'll get your quick settings. Left, you'll get notifications. I'll go to tiles and layouts, and you can go ahead and add uh, more buttons if you want to. Um, all this stuff, screenshots, screen recording if you want to. And uh, let's go back here. Um, notification drawer, um, some stuff you can do. You can go ahead and customize your cus uh, carrier label. And let's actually go to some some more fun here. What is this? Oh, this is, uh, it does come with Google Nail Launcher, KitKat Launcher, or Apex Launcher. I do actually recommend Nova Launcher. That's my probably favorite. Um, also, power menu here. You can go ahead and add screenshot screen recording on the go mode. Those are good stuff. Um, so you can easily take screenshots. Uh, of course, on the go mode, for those of you who don't know, this will allow you to uh, see past your phone. Uh, for example, in New York City, you're walking and uh, you want to use your phone without running into the person walking towards you. Um, you can go ahead and turn this on. So nice little stuff uh, on the go mode. And let's go take a look at some of the other stuff you can do with this uh, bad boy here. Uh, you can also customize all of your buttons here. Um, set long press double tap action for all of your different buttons. So that is a nice way to customize um, your shortcuts um, to your favorite apps. Uh, there's a ton more stuff, so I can't go over all of them. Um, gesture anywhere, this is pretty nice. Make sure trigger width is big enough. You can go ahead and launch your favorite apps. Um, let's say you want to launch your Gmail when you type G. Um, go ahead and type G there. Done. All right. 
And what you can do is anytime you want to access your gestures, go ahead and in the left side of your screen, you see a little overlap. Go ahead and hit G and it will launch your Gmail. So very nice stuff. Very nice way to um, customize your phone with gesture shortcuts. Uh, app bar, app circle bar, this is one of my favorite uh, here. You can go ahead and also add your favorite apps you want to launch. Um, this one, if you hit on the right side of your screen, it's supposed to work. Um, so that could be a bug. I don't know, it's not working for me. So, sorry, don't use that. Let me try it again. Eh. Okay, I'm not sure why it's not working. Um, but don't use that, but also you got op app bar, which is similar. Um, this one, you can go ahead and change the height position. And also you can go ahead and add all of your favorite apps here. And this is like sort of like a PC uh, shortcuts. So let me just go ahead and add two there. Now if you hit on the left edge, oh, there we go. Um, you'll be able to launch your favorite apps. Make sure you adjust the uh, trigger where, right where you want it. Um, also, don't try to put it on the bottom. Um, that will uh, make it hard and sometimes it'll pop up when you're using the keyboard. Lock screen notifications, uh, pretty cool stuff. I love this stuff. Uh, make sure you leave this on. Whenever you get notifications, you'll be able to see it straight from your lock screen. Uh, something that's implemented with uh, Google, uh, Google's next version uh, but we already have it here. That's why you're installing custom ROMs. Uh, Halo floating notifications, a uh, hover notifications. This one, when you enable it, um, actually, you can just go ahead and enable it here. When you enable it, you'll be able to, uh, whenever you get notifications, uh, if you click on it, it will launch um, the notification app, such as if you have an SMS text message, it will give you an SMS uh, app on top of you know whatever app you're running so you can sort of multitask a lot better uh, perhaps you're playing games without exiting out of it uh, and there's some apps that reset when you get out of it so that can help with those kind of um, situations now I, I know um, sometimes uh, your your buttons break I actually did this uh, what you can do is add navigation bar um, go into settings here enable navigation bar then you'll be able to uh, have navigation bar so maybe your uh, you know hardware buttons are broken then you can go ahead and customize this also uh, and also add more buttons if you want to and you can even have it um, going to your favorite apps here um whoops make sure you hit the right one there we go go to short action here and I'm gonna have it launch some of my favorite apps uh, such as, let me see here, applications. And you can go ahead and launch Chrome, for example. That looks really clean, nice. Um, there we go. And there's also a navigation ring. Um, this only works if you do have navigation bar. This is where you can swipe up from the bottom. And uh, custom system animations, if you want to customize your system animations, you can go ahead and slide in from the bottom, uh, slide in left, all that good stuff. And that will change your animations. Um, other than that, you also get uh, theming just like a CM11. This ROM is built on CM11. That is why you can use a custom uh, kernel, uh, forest kernel is based on CM11, um, so which is you know a good deal. So definitely a great ROM to play with. Overall, if you want to be on the latest Android 4.4.4 with a ton of features um, and also overclocking, definitely check out the combo SOKP ROM and the CM11 kernel. Um, Going to get you on 1.6 gigahertz with all of these options. Um, and also you'll get performance benefits of the latest Android 4.4.4. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week and do let me know what you think. And as always, um, if you have a Galaxy Note, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at rootgalaxynote.com. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, I stay on Android.